Hello everyone. So in this video, I will do analyze actually the circuit finding the Y parameters, which are the admittance parameters. And as you can see, we have a dependent source here inside the circuit. So it means that it is not the reciprocal case. So we have to go through um, the general circuit and analyze it and finding the admittance parameters. So we know that for finding the admittance parameters, we have to short circuit the input and output one at a time in order to find different Y parameters. So as you can see here, I have written Y the definition for Y11, Y22, Y21, and Y12. So in order to find them, I have to basically short circuit the input and output at a time. So first, I'm going to short circuit the input, which is V1. So what I'm going to do, I have to set V1 equal to 0. And when I set V1 equal to 0, I can find these two Z parameters, right? <clears throat> so when V1 is equal to 0, it means that I have a short circuit over here. Then we have this dependent source in between, 5 ohm resistor. We have a 10 ohm resistor here. Then we're going to have some I2 here and V2. going to be like this. So 10, 5, 0 0.2 V1, and here I have Y1, right? So let's look at this circuit and let's analyze it a little. So what is the voltage across um, the resistor of 5 ohms? You can see that it's a short circuit, right? It is short circuit over here. So this resistor will go away. And also, what about this um, current source over here? So you can see that for the current source, this current dependent current source, it is equal to 0 0.2 V1. And V1 is equal to 0, so this is going to be equal to 0. So when a current source is equal to 0, I can say that that circuit is an open circuit, right? So my circuit will change to this circuit over here. This is I2, 10, and V2, right? So I1 will be equal to zero here. Why is that? Because when I1 enters this node, if I call it node one and node two, so when I one one enter node I one, uh, sorry node one, this has become an open circuit. So this has become something like this. So it cannot pass through. So there is no current. There is zero current passing uh, to this branch, right? So this will be my equivalent circuit now. So here. V2 is equal to 10 I2. So this is the relationship between V2 and I2. And I know that Y22 is equal to I2 over V2. And that will be 1 over 10. And then the other um, admittance that I can find when the input side is short-circuited is Y12. That is equal to I1 over V2. What is I1? We said that I1 was equal to zero, right? Because there is no current passing, actually entering this node A over here, right? No current is entering node A. So I'm just writing this one to an A only um, to be able to refer to them. All right, so I, find, I found two of these um, y parameters. Now I have to find the other two and the other two requires V2 being equal to zero, which means that the output side should be um, short circuited. Okay, so let's do that. Let's make the output a short circuit. So here's my input. So I have actually an output which is a short circuit so v2 is equal to 0 but we do have i2 and 
here we have I1, V1, here we have 0 0.2 V1, and a 5 over here. Okay? And then this is I1. All right. So we have a 10. So again, here you can see that the voltage across the 10 ohm resistor, which is in the output, is equal to zero, right? So this means that this resistor is short circuit, which is this resistor, right? So I'm going to just take it out of my circuit so it won't be like confusing. Now I have to find the relationship between different um, um, voltages and currents in order to find the admittances, okay? So one of, the thing, uh, one of the admittances that I want to find is Y11, which is equal to I1 and V1. So here I have to find the relationship between I1 and V1, right? Let's see over here. So the voltage across the 5 ohm resistor, I know that is equal to V1, right? And what is the current passing through the 5 ohm resistor? I can see that there is an I1 entering the node and there is another I2. So here we don't have I2 at this side of the dependent source, right? I2 is entering actually this source over here. So this will be I2. So I2 is going this way to the left while there is a 0.2 V1 is going to the other way. And this is one branch, right? So we have a current I2 like this, and we have a current 0.2 V1 this way. So how, what can we uh, conclude here? We can say that I2 is equal to negative 0.2 V1. Right? So now I know that that I2, which is also entering this node V1, is equal to 0 0.2 V1. Okay? So let me write here I1, I2. So the voltage across the 5 ohm resistor is 5, no, sorry, V1, and that is equal to R multiplied by the current passing through that resistor. I know that that current is I1 minus 0 0.2 V1. So here I have the relationship between V1 and I1. So I can say that V1 um, plus V1, right? Because 5 multiplied by 0 0.2 is 1, is equal to 5 I1. And so from here, 2 V1 is equal to 5 um, I1. So from here, Y11 is going to be equal to I1 um, over V1, and that is equal to 2 over 5, which is equal to 0 0.4. Now, this is another Y parameter. And then the last one, which is um, Y21. So I know that Y21 is equal to I2 over V1. Right? So I have to find the relationship between I2 and V1 that I already have it over here. So I can use this equation in order to find Y21. So Y21 is I2 over V1, and that is going to be negative 0.2. So this way we found all the Y parameters that we were looking for, four Y parameters. So I can write the matrix of my Y parameters are 0 0.4, 0, negative 0 0.2, and 0 0.1. All right. Okay, so I hope you um, understood how to find the Y parameters. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments down below, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.